Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. The other day I had to program my Redivis so that it would, so I can talk with the handhelds that are the bubble wrap or the Walmart radios uh, so they can also talk to this radio and vice versa. So I thought, well, you know, maybe I should do a quick video about that, kind of explaining how to do it. Uh, you know, like I said, there may be times where you may need to uh, communicate with that other type of radio. Now, these Walmart or bubble wrap radios cannot do uh, a repeater because you cannot do split frequency. However, if you did a simplex repeater, then you these radios would work. And a simplex repeater is a repeater that records your voice, records all activity, and plays it back. Um, so then you could use these radios uh, with a repeater of, uh, of sorts. So, but at any rate, um, what sometimes it's, it's easiest to get the owner's manual and look up the, uh, the tones and whatnot that are used for this particular radio. And that's what I did. And I'm going to kind of give you a little quick rundown um, on this. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to the computer here. And what I have here is the programming software for the Redivis RT85 radio. Now you could enter these frequencies in, uh, through the keypad on the radio, on the Redivis radio, if you choose to. Um, I like to do it this way so I can just do all of it in one shot. And what I did also is I made the channel, uh, the, the memory in the Redivis radio, you got memory one, memory two, memory three. I look at that as a channel, channel one, channel two, channel three. Oops. So what I do there is I make it match the channels on the other radio. And what I mean by that is, let's go back here. If you turn this one on, it will say 32. So I have the memory match here. So when it's on, when I go down to 32, it is the same as the Midland uh, radio right here would be 32. Um, so I have it kind of matched so it's a little easier to to find the channel. If somebody says, like for an example, let's go back to the camera. Let's say somebody says, oh, this is on channel 15. Well, then I can quickly just go to my my memory 15 would be the, would represent channel 15 on the on the Midland or the bubble wrap radio. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's how I do it. Now, if you already have frequencies in here and you don't want to do all that, you can do by channel name on this radio. I can make this say, uh, I can do like a channel one here and then enable um, the, instead of showing the frequency on the Redivis radio, I can have it show the uh, name that I gave it. So you could do that if you don't want to reprogram your whole radio to fall into the um, category of the same um, memory or same channel as with the bubble wrap. So you can do that. So let's say, for an example, I have these first five or something else on my radio, and I want to start number six. Well, I can I can go ahead and and then label these accordingly to the name I you know whatever they are, and then go ahead and start my uh, channel you know number one number two and then you can save that and then just make sure you enable it so that it shows to display the channel name that you gave it and not the frequency and with Redivis you can do that with um, uh, it's going to be under basic I believe right here display frequency or display channel or name so that's how you do that so you can you can have it say something instead of always having it be frequency. So, in this case, now uh, the radio's on 32, so then I I go down to here to 32, and here is the frequency and here is the tone. Now, like I said, I used the owner's manual to, to kind of tell me what tone it is. And so what I did was, is when I went to 
the owner's manual for the bubble wrap radio, or the Midland in this case, it will tell me right here. So for an example, let's see if we can kind of zoom in on here a little bit. Okay, channel 32 right here is this frequency right here, which is also the same as the GMRS channel 4, but it's using DSC number 4. Now, if, you, if you're not aware, DSC and CTCSS tones are different from one another. So, channel 32, which is also channel 4 in a GMS world, DS4. So, if you scroll down here to here, number 4 is going to be 031. So if I go back to my programming, that's actually going to be 031N when it comes to the on the on the right of this radio. So that's how you do that. Then you gotta make sure you set your tones, and then that channel should work on your uh, GMRS. Uh, in my case, the right of this RT85. So hopefully that kind of makes sense um, how you do that. Some of them don't have tones at all. So, and that's how Midland and, or any other manufacturer, that's how they can say, well, this radio gets 50 channels. Well, it's not really 50 new channels. It's, it's 50 channels because some of the channels are repeats, but they have tones turned on. That's pretty much what that amounts to. Um, so, it's not, you know, uh, like I say, it's not that difficult once you kind of know how to decipher how they have it written up. So... And like I said, and in this case, you'd have to do it both ways. You got to have it be, um, you know, the encode and decode got to be the same. Everything else, you can leave it to be the way it's at. And then the frequency is also the same. Transmit and receive is just one frequency with those bubble wrap radials because they can't do split frequency. So that's how you do that. Um, it's not difficult. You just got to kind of pay attention to the tones. You know, like if you go up here, let's go up to... Like here, channel 23 is actually GMRS channel 1, and that's using the, the CTC, CTC SS tone of 38, um, which also, if you go down here, and 38 is actually 250.3. So you got to kind of use your, little, use your little decoder system to know what tone to add. So if I go back up to to that one, and you go to, I think it was channel 23, I think it was, which is actually GMRS channel 1, CTCSS is 38, and if you do that, and you go to 38, which is 250. Now I go back to this one and I go to 23. Here it is right here. Right here. I have it 250.3 and that's how simple it is. So that's how you kind of decode um, how they do this. Like I said, it's not real difficult, but it's nice to be able to use these two radios together. You know, that's, you know, like I said, if, if, if you're in a situation where you're hunting and, you're, and your buddy don't have a a, um, a, a a radio or he has an older one that he bought at Walmart years ago and you got a better radio, you guys can still talk. So that's kind of what's nice about doing that. So hopefully this video is a little bit helpful to kind of get you on the right track there. But just remember, decode it is the main thing. Is And usually the owner's manual should say, uh, if you're wondering what model of the bubble wrap that I have, it is going to be the Midland uh, GT, right here's the owner's manual that I'm using. This is the radio that I have. I bought many, many, many years ago. But you can use this. You can actually, you know, obviously all all radios got to follow this protocol. So you can download this. If you have a an older radio and you don't, you can't get the manual online. It should be, it should follow the same protocol. So you you be able to just get this manual here. Uh, go to Midland's website here. And download it, and then just scroll t kind of towards the end of the page here. Uh, tells you what, what the frequencies are and how to decode them. So. Um
like right here it starts I think it's page what is it page 19 of this owner's manual it starts telling you how to, how to decode it so just remember to decode their code to the actual the frequency that's being used so um, you know real simple so hopefully this video will, will help you there if you have any questions or comments please post them down below please subscribe thank you and have a good day